I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and great news, Verizon customers, the HTC One is officially coming your way. Great news out of the Verizon Wireless camp this morning and if you're a Verizon Wireless customer you should listen in on this because it's pretty exciting on all fronts. The HTC One is officially coming to Verizon Wireless. Now we had heard about these rumors for some time, people had speculated and we kind of figured it was coming to Verizon Wireless but they announced it this morning via their at VZW News Twitter handle. It is coming later in the summer and we assume it's going to pack the same specifications as the original HTC One. I don't expect any sort of processor change or at least hopefully any sort of storage change or anything outside of what you would get from an HTC One on AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile. Now what you may see is like a Verizon exclusive color, maybe a red one or perhaps black with red trim or silver with red trim, something of that nature, something specific to Verizon Wireless. Although interestingly enough, the Samsung Red devices keep going to AT&T when they really probably should go to Verizon because Verizon's big red after all. But that's beside the point. HTC One coming to Verizon Wireless and we assume it's going to pack the same specs. Now we don't know very much other than it's coming in the late summer. We don't know pricing. We don't know availability. We don't know color selection, whether it's going to have, they're going to have the 32 or 64 gigabyte versions. We don't really know a whole lot. But my question to you is this. HTC One launched, was announced in February. Still very much a cool device on AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. My question to you is by the time late summer rolls around, is it going to be worth getting on Verizon Wireless? Because when you look at it, Android phones have a pretty short shelf life. Now this is HTC's flagship phone, but you know what, at some point they're going to replace the HTC One with the next version of the HTC One. And when you look at Verizon getting it a couple of months later, that just eats into on-shelf time. Whereas with February, with AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile, you could get it from the very beginning, or for the most part, the very beginning of the HTC One distribution cycle. Now, you get a couple of months of a delay and Verizon's just getting it, but at some point the HTC whatever, One Two or HTC Two or whatever they call the HTC One successor is going to come out. Let's just hypothetically say December it's going to come out. And then you look and say, okay, I got mine on Verizon from July to December, whereas if I were on AT&T, I would have gotten it from February to December. So just more on shelf time and more time with that device. So my question to you is this, would you go with an HTC One or would you go with something else? Maybe one of the rumored Samsung devices or one of the rumored Motorola devices when it launches on AT&T or Verizon or whoever it launches on in the US. Are you interested in this phone at all? Let me know on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. Let me know in the comments below in this YouTube video and on the post on the site at phonedog.com because I'm really curious to see if this thing's going to get a lot of traction. It's a great move by HTC to get this phone on Verizon. It's the nation's largest U.S. carrier. They've got a significant marketing weight. It's going to be good to get that one branding out there into the wild. And Previously, even though they had it on three carriers, they were missing out a pretty significant chunk of the population that carries Verizon. Now they've got that. They're picking up kind of a play out of the Samsung playbook where they've got the same phone on multiple carriers in the U.S. So I can choose Verizon. Verizon Sprint, AT&T, or T-Mobile walk out with the same device, we assume, based on what the Verizon one is going to look like. We assume that we can walk out with the same device. That's super cool. I just want to know, is it too little too late for HTC? Let me know here on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and on Google Plus at gplus.to slash phone dog. Thanks for watching. Keep me updated, and I'll keep you updated with more on the Verizon Wireless HTC One. See you next time.